Good day. Today I have before me Mrs. Janaki, a lady from Mumbai. She had a SVF procedure to both her knees in September 2023. She has come to Chennai and uh, she is sitting here right in front of me. I will introduce you to her and uh, we will find out how she is faring after five months of treatment to both her knees. Welcome Mrs. Janaki. Welcome sir. When did you come to Chennai? I came to Chennai last week on ah. the 14th of this month. Okay. So how is your condition right now after the procedures? Uh, what was your condition before and how is it right now? Just one sentence, sum up your condition right now. Right now, uh, I'm very much better. Hmm. Actually, doctor had uh, graded me as third grade uh, arthritis. Hmm. Now, and the pain was also three, uh, th th third degree. Uh. But now with this, I feel it is come to between zero to one. So just for the benefit of the viewers, let me recapitulate what zero to one or one to three or whatever it means. One means people have got pain, but they can largely ignore it. Zero means no pain at all. One means they have some pain, they can ignore it and they can go about their daily activities. Grade two of pain means that they do have pain and uh, it bothers them from time to time. But uh, they can put up with it. Grade three is more severe, that is they have pain uh, and it is constant, it is bothering them day in and day out. And grade four is very severe and incapacitating pain. So you had at the beginning, before the procedure, you had a, a, a pain of grade 3. That is, it was bothering you constantly. Yes, sir. For how long it was bothering you? Sir, see, my uh, gradation, you can say, uh, it, has la it has lasted me around 20 years. years. Yes, for uh. the past 20 years, I'm having this problem. Mm. That is right from a young age itself. Mm. That is, I was only in my early 40s when this pain started. Mm. And it was only increasing day by day. Mm. Because as such, I had not done anything for my knee. Mm. So, with age and with uh, the activities, mm. and with a considerable amount of weight also, mm. my knee was actually literally giving way. Mm. So, I have gone to doctors, but they've always suggested knee replacement surgery. Where in Mumbai? In Mumbai. Mm. Because I stayed in Mumbai, I've consulted there only. Mm. And uh, I'm, I felt it, I will do it later in case I have no alternative. Mm. So, that was my point. Mm. But then, uh, this year, I happened to come in the now month Before of that, what prompted you to even consider thinking of this procedure? Actually, in my, uh, my relatives, two of them have undergone this uh, stem cell, uh -huh. yes, uh -huh. that is one is my brother-in-law and mm. one is my nephew's mother-in-law, uh -huh. okay, mm. so both of them have had very positive results mm. and my brother-in-law who I'm saying is around 20 years older than me, you can say 15 to 20 years older than me mm. and he's found very good results. He underwent the procedure when? He underwent the procedure around by, tenure, me, uh, by, uh, by you only 2016. doctor, 2016, 2016 could be, uh -huh. so he underwent that procedure and for him, it was one uh, knee, it was a replacement Replaced. case, uh -huh. and the other one was stem cell. Mm. And uh, so, I used to uh, be in constant touch with my brother-in-law, mm. you know, just evaluating my pain. Mm. So, he also suggested that you undergo a knee replacement surgery. Mm. I think you will need that, mm. because your knees must have been really worn out by now. Mm. So, I was just putting it on hold, doctor, and just bearing with it, mm. if you go to see. Every time I wanted to go, I would wear a kneecap. Or I would actually endure the pain. Mm. It used to be that way. So in this, uh, this 2023 July, I happened to come to Chennai. Mm. So I felt I should come and see, meet you. Mm. At least ask you what is the condition. And in case it requires a replacement or something, it will be like, you know, a, a second opinion for me. Mm -hmm. So that was the purpose of me coming to you. Mm. And uh, when I came over here, you asked me to first to go and take an x-ray. Mm. I went and... Took an x-ray because I didn't have a latest x-ray also with me. Mm. And seeing my x-ray, you graded it as third grade arthritis. Mm. And you said that you could undergo this procedure and I will get a very good relief from this. Mm. So when I went home and I thought over it and asked my family, they said there's nothing like it. If you can do it mm. without a surgery. Mm. So this is really a blessing. So we'll give it a try. Mm. Because 
and i also asked you that doctor if this i'm not it is not successful in my case could i go for a knee replacement later mm. so you said yes you can go mm. so with that much confidence i actually came for the procedure mm. and uh, i of course had a lot of pain that is why and from what i have heard from others i felt i will take a local anesthesia spinal anesthesia spinal anesthesia oh. so uh, you even agreed for that but i was very happy that i undertook the anesthesia oh. i was very happy with it mm. because i actually felt nothing mm. i didn't i like you know i only could see you but i didn't know what you were doing yeah. it was as simple as that mm. so after that uh, like my knee was wrapped up in the bandage so for one week it mm. was uh, you know a, a, some amount of pain was there and uh, after removing of the bandage it was slightly better mm. and each day is to monitor my progress mm. and i followed all the protocols what you had told to the fullest mm. and uh, i felt i should come to you when i'm like you know i'm able to tell you that i'm much better mm. so this can you now document your procedure as seen by you and as seen by your closest observer which is your husband yeah see actually when me and my husband we used to go for a walk mm. it would be like you know my husband also used to keep up pace with me only mm. like you know both of us mm. but he would walk straight and i'm always rocking away mm. like you know rocking rocking literally side rocking side. side to side that's how people with arthritis yes, walk exactly mm. because my knee uh, my uh, legs are also bent because of the arthritis mm. so they were uh, they were mm. sorry they were and i underwent a hip surgery also mm. in 2018 somewhere else so, uh, somewhere due else. to a broken uh, hip a broken hip i met with an accident uh. and the surgery i underwent in coimbatore uh. so after that it was my uh, the surgery was on the left side mm. of my hip so that then other than that you had joint small joint pain all over yes yes i had hands. small yes uh. my hands uh, my uh, small muscle small uh, bones in my hand also used to ache doctor mm. so at that time i asked you whether any procedure can be done for that because my wrist also used to pain me uh. so you said no for the small joints we normally don't do this i will suggest some multivitamins mm. which are absolutely side effect free mm. it will only do you good for the other parts of the body also mm. and it is since uh, i'll tell you it is around 7 from july onwards from the day i came to meet you i've been taking that medicine yeah. so 9 months you can say i've been niacinamide taking, yeah niacinamide mm-hmm. 500 mg oh. huh? so i'm taking that regularly doctor and even that is not available i take an alternate some generic medicine like mm. which i always consult you and then take mm. and uh, that has helped me a lot because my small muscle pain is completely gone now Hmm. like my fingers more another factor could be that the trickle over effect of these stem cells that could be doctor that you know better <laughs> <laughs> other people have told me that uh, they had the treatment for one knee okay. and then their uh, other knee is no uh, pain free okay okay and the small joints uh, patients have told me that okay mm. so, so i was attributing it only to niacinamide mm. but now you have been a professional you know better what is yeah. happened mm. okay so, so now uh, uh, you are a very uh, ardent yoga practitioner yes doctor yes mm. so what is the improvement in terms of yoga what are the yogas many people are uh, keen to know what yoga asanas they can do see doctor it is my experience mm. when i started doing the, do, doing yoga that is i'm talking i normally used to do yoga in spite of the pain mm. but uh, after then after november 15th you had suggested mm. one and a half months i am supposed to do the exercises only which you had suggested yeah so i was doing that very uh, ritualistically and you had specially told me not to climb steps which i did not do at all mm. during that period but after by november 15th i felt now let me start slowly mm. so i started doing doctor it used to give me uh, some pain but then i started doing the simple ones like twitching my toes uh, my ankle forward and backward then slowly bending my knees you know lying down and putting one knee up and mm. one knee down and then rotating my foot mm. you know uh, like in a, in circles uh, uh, clockwise and anti clockwise mm. so with these i all started. these asanas are better now much much better how is your gait 
You were talking about it. How's your husband saying? Did he say that you are walking straight? Yeah. See, actually, I used to walk with a limp doctor, mm. but uh, and I and that limp was also mainly because of my left a leg, you know, slightly being longer after the surgery. Hip operation. Yeah, after the hip surgery. Uh. So now uh, I am not having any problem. I can do all the tadas and those exercises, walking on my toes, walking on my heels, mm. which actually require real balance. Mm. You know, if your one knee is, uh, one leg is longer than the other, this is not possible. Mm. So now I'm able to do it, you know, hands free. I can, uh, you know, stretch myself right on the top at this level and walk straight. My back, everything is straightened, doctor. Mm. And I'm even going on my knees and doing a cat pose, mm. cow pose. Mm. Then I do vakrasan. So your gait, uh, your walking distance has improved? Walking distance, actually now slowly I have to improve it. Mm. For now it is about uh, uh, 30 minutes to 45 minutes, pain free. Pain free. It begins with a little uh, tightness. Mm. Later on as I walk, Only I feel You're much talking better. about the tightness in your muscles, is that, is that yes. there now? Uh, no doctor, it uh, is it is gone completely. Stiffness is gone. S stiffness is gone. Uh. So that is a major uh, di uh, difference I found. Mm. And that difference I found it within two months. Mm. So stiffness has disappeared. Yes. Pain has reduced. Your yes. walking distance has improved. Yes. Uh, you're able to do all your yoga postures. Yes, so overall yes. your function has improved. Yeah, definitely, you're able to doctor. do things, more things. Definitely, doctor. That's the goal. I'm sure that there might be some drawbacks. Uh, we made you walk st stairs, climb stairs. And while climbing stairs, you didn't have much. But while climbing down... Yes, doctor. Yes. You had some pain? Yes, doctor. That uh, pain is there when I'm climbing down. Mm. And uh, since you had told me, the whole procedure will set right. Mm. Like it will take at least, taking the age factor also into consideration. Mm. You said it will take around a year. Mm. Now it's only five months. Mm. So there are seven months left. Mm. So I, I am very positive that I will get 100% cure. So what is the message you, uh, you will uh, pass on to your neighbors? Doctor, there are, every time people see me, mm. they say that uh, you are an advertisement by itself. <laughs> they always tell me because I'm a, I, I've got a lot of friends mm. and this problem is very common among ladies of my age. Yeah. So whenever I suggest to them, they mm. say even if I don't need someone else of their need and I keep canvassing for it, mm. I always tell them. So you, what is a single message you would give? I yeah. would say that it is always worth the try. Uh. I will always say first you go in for this. Mm. It is 99.99 you will never have to go in for anything else. Mm. But in case there is mm. always a... So people know, can... Postpone a knee replacement. 100%. percent, hundred Because that is exactly what I also felt I was doing. And maybe avoid a knee replacement. Uh, exactly. Okay. So that is again borne out by the example of your brother-in-law. Yes. Uh, so he, as far as I recollect, he underwent the procedure in 2016. Yes. Now we are in 2024. Eight years. Eight years. He's avoided a knee replacement. Yes, yes. And there are other people and also. And he's doing very fine, doctor. He sits even on the floor. Mm. And doctor, one more thing. I can do namaskaram very well now. Oh. Which I have avoided for the past, I think, five to ten years. Mm. I was not doing it. That is kneeling. Kneeling and doing. The proper namaskaram, what are, how the ladies normally do in a temple or so, no? Uh. And so it was like, you know, even for shraddham and all this, namaskaram is very important. Mm. But even there I couldn't do. Mm. You know, it was like that. But now I'm able to do it. Mm. Good. Okay. Thanks for coming and documenting your uh, progress. It is very heartening to me. And of course, it, is, it has cheered you up and given you more confidence. Um, I hope I was able to address all your anxiety. You are not anxious at all. You are morally very positive this time. And I hope I have been able to address your uh, uh, shortcomings and given you the re required reassurance. Uh, I hope you will continue to improve. Keep me posted. You, you, can, you, you can call me and uh, inform me uh, or send a message. Anyway, so next time when you visit Chennai, do come and visit me. Definitely, doctor. Uh. I'll come running. <laughs> <laughs> Hope to. And so thanks for coming and have a nice day. Namaskar. Thank you, doctor. Thank you very much.